Hey, Facebook Live. Oh, hey, say hi to the wildebeest. Remember what we're going to share. You don't have to believe it, accept it, or welcome it. Some of it may be hard to believe. Some of it you may actively resist. You are not being asked to judge or analyze it. Just apply the ideas, and it is the use of the ideas that will give them meaning and show you that they are true. While we are here, while we are here in these bodies, you know, these neutral communication devices, remember, it is the joining of the human, the human, and the divine, you know, that which we can't see, smell, taste, and touch, that is the only purpose worthy of our thought. Not in getting stuff, not in accomplishing stuff, not in being something or doing something. It is in joining the human and divine. I dedicate all thought to union, to the remembrance of who or what I am, because we've been around this big ball of spinning dirt, supposedly for a long time. Weeks, months, years, decades, maybe a hundred years, a thousand years, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, whatever. We've been spinning for quite a while. There always seems to be problems. There always seems to be problems in the world. And we do all this crap to fix it. We do all these things to change it. But in truth, in truth, do we really change the problem? Or does it just seemingly morph into another one? Or it appears to be fixed and then a short period of time or maybe kind of a longer period of time goes by and poof it's there again same problem just at a seemingly different time why because we are continually attempting to fix the problem out there out there out there you know out there rather than going within Remember, it is always within our mind. The world is a projection of what is in the mind. So, when we heal our mind, when we only have loving thoughts about everyone and everything, knowing that everyone and everything is a thought just like me, we can heal the mind. And the world magically changes in that new perception. Knowing that everything is love, everything is light, if I see it as anything other than that, if it is taking my peace, that is because I have given it an incorrect interpretation. I obviously am misinterpreting it. My perception of you, of me, of that is wrong. Or I would be at peace happy and joyful continually, yet we are not. And why is that? Because we always want everything in the world to change. And what do we do? We try to go out in the world and change everything. Fight fires. We put on this hat and then that hat and then this and we go, whoo, look, another hat. And oh, wait, I can put this one on and I can solve that problem because I got the right hat on. And that's what we do. We continually go out to fix the problem rather than going within. The problem is our perception. That's it. It's that simple. When we learn to take responsibility for what it is, we are seeing what we are experiencing and no longer say, that's happening to me rather than, no, that's happening for me. I created that to remember none of it. None of it has the power to dictate how I feel. If I feel crappy, it's because I'm choosing to give someone or something that meaning that makes me feel crappy. And if I feel happy, I'm doing the same thing. I'm giving it meaning. So I can be happy with anyone in any situation. It's a choice. Oh, but wait. But what about, I know, there's always those extreme ass examples but would you rather join 
and remember unity and love with everyone and everything? Or would you rather remember separation, individuality, cut off from love and light? So in every moment, that's what we're doing. We are telling ourselves things that make us feel good, or we can tell ourselves things that make us feel like crap. Easy, easy peasy, lemon breezy. So hey, that's it for now. That's it. It's pretty simple. Take responsibility. Right now, say, I am responsible for what I see. I am responsible for how I see it. I'm responsible for the meanings I am giving to it. I am. I am. Not the world, not the past, not anything. It's all me. I am choosing to either be at peace or not. It's got nothing to do with anyone or anything. It's my choice. It's my choice. It is all my choice. It's all my choice. And I can choose to see love in everyone and everything. My intention today, in this moment, in every breath, is to see and be peace, joy, happiness, love in everyone and everything, including the me that I think that I am. Remember, the me that I think that I am is just the representation of the fearful mind, the seemingly split mind, that we all seemingly share. This body is not you or me. It is neutral. It is a communication device. And oh, I hate to break it to you, but it is an illusion, meaning it does not last. You can freeze it. You can, you can do whatever the French toast you want to do to try and preserve it. But guess what? It's going away. You know that quote in the Bible? Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Hate to break it to you. You're dust. Dust is nothing too, but whatever. So remember, I'm not a body. I am free. For I am still as God created me. I am at home within the mind of God. Thank you. Hey, feel free to share this with anyone or everyone or no one or nobody. It's all good. We love you because we know you are really me. And we are really one because we cannot be separate. Even though we may look separate and appear to be separate, we are working right now to remove those blocks that tell us we're separate and are blocking us from the awareness of love's presence, which is our natural inheritance, which is who and what we truly are. Next time you see someone and you feel that who, remind yourself, that's me. We share a self. I love you. I love you. Ooh, this is tough to say. I love you. Doesn't mean I want to sleep with you. I love you. Doesn't mean I want to give you my chocolate chip cookie. But I love you because I know that you and me aren't really you and me. We are really the one that's behind the projector. We're just the film. See you around. Deuces. Peace. Love you.